Greetings, everyone. Today, we're delving into the realm of a medication known as dicyclamine, which is also recognized by its generic name. As always, this discussion is intended for educational purposes only. For any health-related inquiries or concerns, please seek guidance from a qualified medical professional. Description Dicyclamine, commonly referred to by its brand name Bentil, is an oral medication classified as an anticholinergic and antispasmodic agent. Its primary purpose lies in alleviating symptoms associated with gastrointestinal conditions, particularly irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. Approved by the FDA, dicyclamine functions by relaxing the muscles in the intestines and stomach, thus aiding in the reduction of intestinal cramping and abdominal pain often experienced by individuals with IBS. It serves as a valuable tool in managing the discomfort and distress caused by gastrointestinal spasms. Additionally, dicyclamine may be prescribed off-label for other gastrointestinal disorders characterized by excessive muscle contractions. Warnings Before considering dicyclamine, it's essential to be aware of certain precautions. This medication is not recommended for individuals with certain medical conditions, including but not limited to glaucoma, myasthenia gravis, severe ulcerative colitis, obstructive uropathy, or paralytic ileus. Moreover, Caution should be exercised in individuals with a history of urinary retention, cardiac arrhythmias, hyperthyroidism, or hypertension. Dicyclamine should be used cautiously in elderly patients and those with autonomic neuropathy. It's crucial to discuss your medical history thoroughly with your healthcare provider before starting this medication. Before taking this medicine. Prior to initiating treatment with dicyclamine, several considerations must be taken into account. Inform your healthcare provider of any allergies or sensitivities to medications, as well as any existing medical conditions. Special attention should be given to conditions such as glaucoma, myasthenia gravis, and urinary retention. If you are pregnant, planning a pregnancy, or breastfeeding, it's imperative to consult with your healthcare provider regarding the potential risks and benefits of dicyclamine. Regular monitoring and follow up appointments are recommended to ensure the medication's efficacy and safety. Side effects like all medications, dicyclamine may cause side effects in some individuals. Common side effects include dry mouth, blurred vision, dizziness, drowsiness, constipation, and difficulty urinating. It's essential to be mindful of these potential side effects and to promptly notify your doctor if they persist or worsen. In rare cases, dicyclamine may cause more severe adverse reactions, such as allergic reactions, rapid heartbeat, severe dizziness, or difficulty breathing. If you experience any of these symptoms, seek immediate medical attention. Interactions Dicyclamine has the potential to interact with other medications, including but not limited to, antacids, antidiarrheal agents, antispasmodics, and certain antidepressants. It's crucial to inform your healthcare provider about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you are currently taking to avoid any potential interactions. Dosage Adhering to the prescribed dosage is crucial for the effectiveness and safety of dicyclamine. The recommended dose for most adults with irritable bowel syndrome is typically 20 mg taken orally four times daily, preferably before meals and at bedtime. However, dosage may vary depending on individual response and medical condition. It's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully and not to exceed the prescribed dose without consulting your healthcare provider. Avoid while taking dicyclamine, it's advisable to avoid activities requiring mental alertness or coordination until you are aware of how the medication affects you. Additionally, alcohol consumption should be minimized or avoided, as it may exacerbate certain side effects of dicyclamine. FAQ Questions often arise regarding the use of dicyclamine in pediatric patients. Currently, its safety and effectiveness in children have not been well established, and therefore, it's typically not recommended for individuals under the age of 18. Always consult with a healthcare provider for specific inquiries regarding this medication. Closing And that concludes our overview of dicyclamine. Remember, this information is intended for educational purposes and should not substitute professional medical advice. If you have any questions or concerns about dicyclamine or its usage, don't hesitate to consult with a healthcare provider. Thank you for joining us today.